La Bestia is the story of Guayaba, a young smuggler from Mexico that is traveling on top of a cargo train with a package, Lupita, a little girl that he needs to deliver in the United States. I'm Alain von Inne. I'm one of the directors from La Bestia. Uh, my name is Alfredo Gerard and I'm from India. I'm one of the directors of La Bestia. My name is Ram Tames. I am one of the directors of La Bestia. I was mostly focused on helping with creating the story, which we did all together. And also, uh, later on, I was more in charge of creating the 3D aspects that were needed for the movie, uh, animation, and later also kind of directing the, all the people that helped us. I would say the art direction and setting the whole art language of the film. I also worked on the 2D layouts for it and the mainly designing the beast was, was really fun. My main uh, contributions uh, were the, uh, on the story, uh, on the character design. I did music a little bit and animation. The first time uh, Ram told us about it, I was kind of shocked and intrigued actually about the subject because like I didn't know what it was. I felt like a lot of other people probably wouldn't know what it was. Our story takes place in a real phenomenon in Mexico where people travel on top of a cargo train to reach America. And in this odyssey, these people experience such a horrific things. People die, people fall in the train tracks, and that's why people call this train La Bestia, because it's such a crazy thing to do, and everybody in Mexico knows about this. So that's why we decided to take all these bad things and transform the train into a real monster, as a metaphor to show these things in a visual way. In our writing, we didn't only want to focus on the metaphorical transformation, but also on the psychological transformation of our main character. And that's the reason why we decided to have Wayaba change from a pirate into a hero. Condensing all of these elements into a short film wasn't an easy thing to write. We went from writing to drawing to throwing those drawings into the trash and repeat the circle until we ended up with a final version of the storyboard. A ver, chamaca, se acabaron los jueguitos. Ahora eres un polizón a bordo de la bestia. Y este tren, este tren no perdona una. So talking about the art direction and designing of the film, what we simply tried to do was to understand what the story is demanding and applying it in the design elements that we use throughout the film. Uh, so mainly transformation was a key, f key element that we used. Like every background that we had, they gradually transform even though you don't see it at the same point. So we had made this design pack that would be guiding everyone that each shot would have a design language for its own. And on top of this, we had a train transforming into a beast, which totally was a nightmare. <laughs> yeah. There's one shot that will haunt me forever, which is the first shot where our main character wakes up after having his, hit his head. And he's lying on top of this suddenly alive train with to figure out how to make that train actually alive. And that took me a long, long time, and it was a lot of details. And uh, yeah, that was um, that will be forever remembered. Since we had no other render style, it was very important that we pick the right colors. And uh, Morris Noble was a great inspiration for having the right colors. And uh, the idea was basically to have the intensity of the red increase throughout the film, and especially hit it hard when the uh, climax scene starts off. So what we actually did was we had that train in 3D. Uh, we looked for the right camera angle. And then when we had the right angle, we had the 3D layout. We would take that 3D layout into 2D to uh, make an actual background. We would go into layout posing and we would animate the whole path. And then there was also a path where uh, we had to animate the backgrounds because our train is moving the whole time. So our background is moving the whole time. The casting was one of the hardest parts, but with the help of social media, luckily we found a, a little girl that she's French, but she lived like eight years or something like that in Mexico. So she has perfect accent. And one of the things that we, we come up with 
was a song. This song is about the people that travel on this thing. Um, finding a person that can sing in Spanish with the accent and, 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 and that's quite difficult, so we had to improvise. Uh, luckily, we, we found uh, Rebecca and she did an amazing job singing the song. We tried to, to write that song in terms of uh, the immigrants. And we were imagining what kind of song they will be listening to. We were fortunate enough to have a lot of people help us during uh, this project because we are just three people and there's only so much three people can do. I think it's like over 10 different nationalities that actually worked on the film. I'm Jesse Lopez II. Hello, uh, my name is Alejandro Segura. So my name is Marta Schneerlich. I'm Candice. I'm Sharon Slania. Rebecca Gonzalez. My name is Lois. I am Aida Sofia Barba. Uh, I feel very proud to uh, be telling a story that I think not a lot of people have heard and I think is very important to be heard. I'm so happy that Goblin let us do this movie because it was such an ambitious project. And actually, if I think about it, the La Bestia is, is the result of so many people believing in us and giving us the right opportunity to do this thing. And I mean, it's all about opportunities at the end of the day. Even we didn't know if we were going to finish the film tomorrow. And today, if it's having any nominations or any events in the festival, I just feel very humble and uh, honored with all the things that have happened to us and everyone who helped us.